inside of the garage. A couple, two, three plants. This was fun. Hey, did you get the electric panels, bro? Where are they at? Oh, no, I did not. I couldn't find them. Or a furnace. Everything is going to be all sunshine and rainbows. It's not always cocaine and hookers, y'all. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to manage Section 8 tenants, okay? And as you see here, uh, what we have for you guys is a landlord who opted to go without Section 8. Let's assume that it's underneath. Yeah, who wants to, you want to go down here, YouTube? How do you tilt this thing? This is different. There's a little knob that looks Where? like a joystick. It's up and down. Oh. They're calibrated correctly now, so it actually is up and down. It goes up and down. Damn! Double a B. He did, huh? You gonna attack my camera? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Interest rates are high, right? Everybody knows that. Everybody's talking about that, right? They're like as high as they've been in friggin' decades, okay? Like, dude, people are getting quoted. Um, you know, for investor or investor non-occupied properties, right? If it's an owner occupant, it'd be owner occupied, but it's an investor loan, so you're not going to occupy it at all, right? Hence, it being an investor. Um, we're seeing like interest rates over eight percent, right? Which is obviously drastically different uh, than we've been dealing with for the longest time as investors. Okay, so what do we do, y'all? How do we make money? Right now in the current landscape, I'll tell you, we go to markets where you can buy Section 8 properties at steep discounts, right? Because when the rates go up, buyer demand goes incredibly low. It goes down, y'all. So why everybody else is out there freaking out because they could no longer afford to buy properties using leverage because the rates are so high, cash investors, guys, the smart investors, we can go to really, really cheap markets and pick up cash properties at extreme discounts. And that's exactly what I have for you today. 1146 Halstead Street, Toledo, okay? This single family house, 349, y'all. You don't need to worry about rates right now because you could go in and pick this bad boy up cash, right? If you're trying to invest in California, can you go in and buy a house cash for 34 grand? No, that wouldn't even cover like a fraction of your down payment. Not to mention the freaking communists out there, you know, they freaking ruin that place. That's freaking woke nation, sweet Jesus, right? You can't buy a $34,000 house in that dirty shithole Portland. You can't buy a $35,000 house in New Jersey. You can't do it in New York. Can't do it in Texas, okay? That's what we do. That's how I've made my millions, okay? Finding these low-cost markets utilizing Section 8, okay? That's not to say everything is going to be all sunshine and rainbows. It's not always cocaine and hookers, y'all. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to manage Section 8 tenants, okay? And as you see here, uh, what we have for you guys is a landlord who opted to go without Section 8, right? And that's even scarier. When you're in a Section 8 neighborhood, some people get afraid of Section 8 tenants because they're difficult, because they are, and then they go cash tenants. But what they fail to realize is if you're already in a difficult neighborhood, the cash paying tenants are actually more dangerous, more risky than the Section 8 tenants because they don't pay rent, which means you have to evict them, which is exactly what happened to this particular seller here, right? As you see, this property needs to be cleaned up. They had to kick this tenant out because they weren't paying their damn rent. That's why the smart investor, right? The smart investor comes in and they go Section 8 because that's not going to happen when they're on Section 8 because the government guarantees all that rent, man. You just clean this bad boy up, spend a few grand sprucing her up. I mean, there's really not that much like damage, really. Like, it's in like halfway decent condition, uh, you know, for the price, right? You really just kind of got to clean it up and stuff. Spend a few grand, boom! $1,100 of government guaranteed rent, okay? You don't need to worry about loans and the high interest rates right now. Take advantage of the low cost because of the low buyer demand. Pick something up cash like this, no mortgage, $1,100 a month. And guess what? 
a couple years down the road when those rates go back to normal, they drop back down to a more uh, manageable rate. Boom! Do yourself a cash out refi, man. Turn it into a bird deal. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. Because as soon as those rates go down, the value is going to skyrocket. Plus, you took it from an old, scuzzy, nasty house to a Section 8 cash flowing machine. It's going to be turnkey at that time. That's how you're going to make a lot of money. That's what investors need to do right now while the rates are all jacked up. Okay, that's how you make money going forward, right? The real estate market goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Rates, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. You know what's cool though? Rent, <laughs> rent just goes up, man. Uh, but we got to figure out how to make money in any type of market. And that's how we make money in the current market that we are dealing with right now. Okay, so if that makes sense, you want to buy this, shoot your cash offers to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Just include the property address, how much you want to pay. Be like, hey man, James, what's up? 1146 Halstead. Let me offer you 35K. Here's my proof of funds. Now, some of you out there might not even have 34K, and even though the rates are high, you might want to use a loan. That's fine, too. You need lenders. I got them, okay? As a matter of fact, I got lenders who got some pretty low loans comparatively, right? It's not like it was two years ago, guys. The rates are still going to be a little high, but if you want to talk to all my lenders who specialize in working with investors, you'd be surprised. We might be able to set you guys up with a rate that is even better than what you're getting. If that's the case, shoot me an email, sales at holtonweiss.com, and then after you get pre-approved from one of these lenders you want to make an offer, let me know. Shoot the, shoot the amount you want to offer along with that pre-approval letter and we can field your offer plus if you got your own lender and you just want to utilize your own lender that's totally cool too everything goes to sales at holtonwise.com and if all this is going too fast for you before you're ready to make that offer if you actually want to physically get inside this property tour it put together your scope of work figure out what you got to do to clean it up not a problem. Same thing. Sales at HoltonWise.com. You shoot us an email letting us know you want to tour it. You get us that email before 5 o'clock. We'll get you in there the same day. If it's after 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there the next day. Because after 5 o'clock, that's Beer 30, baby. You can't be interrupting Beer 30, all right? Your Section 8 real estate investing is going to have to wait till the next day. But then that next day comes, we get you in there. Let's go. Let's check out this cloth base, dude. All right. Come on, Derek. Why don't you be a good person and put this window back in? We, how do you do that? You step on it? <laughs> That's incorrect. Hmm. So I don't install windows. You know, oh, the locks broke, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Not my ass. Come here at your own risk, I guess. Bring on mask. Oh, this is for Jet. Oh, That's yeah, the, well, the keys don't fucking fit the knob in the lock. That's it. Putty knife. Oh, here. Vince, take this real quick. I found a putty knife over there. I can scrape my shoes off. <laughs> Checking? Nothing, dude. Hard steel, baby. Ugh, that's beautiful, dude. Do you see the separated hot sauce you ever seen something like that before? You ever seen it separated? <laughs> yeah, it's all settled. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right, well. Well, this was fun. Hey, did you get the electric panels, bro? Where are they at? Oh, no, I did not. I couldn't find them. Or a furnace. Where the fuck is the furnace? Uh, there's not one. It's gotta be cold. <laughs> yeah, <they're kinda laughs> it's a cold. That actually kind of makes sense. There might be, uh, it might be under the house, might be in the attic. You see any vents in the ceiling? No. 
Where are the vents in the floor? I don't even remember seeing the walls. Them. Oh, they're on the floor, so it's underneath. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably a whole crawl space under there. Let's assume that it's underneath. Yeah, who wants to, you want to go down here, YouTube? Fucking, I, how do you tilt this thing? This is different. There's a little knob that looks Where? like a joystick. It's up and down. Oh. And they're calibrated correctly now, so it actually is up and down. It goes up and down. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the pass? Right to your left. You'll see him. You can't fucking miss him. Damn! That's a big motherfucker. That boy, big. He big, huh? You gonna attack my camera? No. Probably not. Alright. like pretty cool, though. Well, he is posting up, though. It's his spot. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, they probably only work on this door then. I see. I see cola. Inside of the garage. A couple, two, three plants. Uh, cool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.